Two numbers have a sum of 176. Twice the smaller number is 16 more than the larger number. Determine the two numbers algebraically. Well, like our previous question, we're asking for two numbers, and again we've been told there's a smaller number and a bigger number. So my variables, I'm going to use x and y again. You could name them whatever you want. So I'm going to say let x be my smaller number. Let y be my bigger number. Okay. And now I'm going to go through and try and write an equation that represents these, uh, th this relationship. So my first sentence tells me that two numbers have a sum of 176. Remember, a sum is addition. Okay? So a two, two numbers have a sum of 176. So x plus y equals 176. Now, twice the smaller number is 16 more than the larger number. So again, we've got twice the smaller number. So I'm going to say 2 times x is 16 more than the bigger number. So 2 times x is bigger than the larger number, or sorry, 2 times x is equal to the larger number plus 16. So remember I said more than, it doesn't quite always imply addition or subtraction. You could have written this as 2x minus 16 equals y, and that would have been a valid equation. Um, you just have to think about which of the numbers needs to get bigger to meet the other number. Twice the smaller number is 16 more than the larger number. It's bigger than the larger. It's twice the smaller number is bigger than the larger number. And so this, because it's more than the larger number, so the larger number needs to have 16 added to it to get to 2x. So I'm actually going to revise our notes here um, and just take out more than equals addi addition because I don't think that's quite always true. It depends on how you perceive the question. Um, and hopefully, oh, you can think through the question which way it should go each time. Okay, now we've got our two equations here. So all we have to do is solve them. Now the last time I used the elimination method, so this time I'm going to do the substitution substitution method. Goodness, I can't spell today. And to do the substitution method, I need to get one of my variables by itself. Um, and I think it would be easiest for me just to take this equation and turn it into x equals 176 minus y. Now, just like the name says, I'm going to substitute in 176 minus y for x into our other equation. So this becomes 2 times 176 minus y equals y plus 16. Now I want to isolate for y, so I'm going to first, following bed mass, multiply into my brackets. So 2 times 176 is 352 minus 2y equals y plus 16. I want to isolate y, so I'm going to bring my y's to the same side. So this becomes 352 equals 3y plus 16. It's 3y because I added 2y to both sides to cancel this out. Now I want to get rid of this 16, so I'm going to subtract 16 from both sides. 352 minus 16 
is 336 equals 3y. Then I'll divide by 3. So I get that y equals 112. And now, now that I've got an answer for y, I can just substitute it back in to one of our original equations. So I'm going to say uh, x plus y equals 176 was one of our equations. I'm going to substitute in 112 for y. OK. So x equals 176 minus 112. That's 64. So x equals 64 and y equals 112. So my smaller number is 64. And my larger number is 112.